On the 27th of March 2022, I uploaded my first video to YouTube. It's been... How long has it been? It's been one year and nine months since I recorded that. It's coming towards the end of 2023, which means that 2024 is just around the corner. We've got loads to cover in this episode, so I'd like you to sit back, relax, and join in for Josh Sherman 567. 2023. And yes, I've got a new microphone, which means you can hear my creaky, creaky chair move about more. So we did impressive. We got 7.1 thousand views over the year, which is more than I could ever ask for. 58 subscribers, which... <laughs> how did I even get here? And 188 watch time hours. Now, if you do the maths, which I currently haven't done, so I'll be right back, that's about eight days straight watching Foxtel. Um, I, don't, I don't know how much hours of content has been uploaded, but that's, that's a lot of days. You can see in a more advanced view that our most viewed video is me taking a tiki bar boat to Puerto Williams, followed by a video that was uploaded last year, followed by a video that was uploaded last year. <laughs> Great. You can see here there's three interesting spikes, two of which, the purple one being season 8, the finale of GV Gear, having its spike on its day of upload, and that next one I believe would be the Tiki Barbo on its day of being live streamed. But weirdly, the biggest spike of it all, and the most viewed video of this year, somehow, in one whole day, is Gamer Covet Dies, which is, put simply, Erkovet in BeamNG reenacting Ronnie McNutt. Unsurprisingly, people in Foxtel Studios don't know how to get women. Unsurprisingly, the top viewers are from the UK. If you're watching this with some tea right now, let me know in the comments. Next up is the United States, which is weird because, like, no one from Foxtel Studios is from the US. There's, like, two and they don't take part in events. Then is Luxembourg. I know exactly why that's on there. You guys like your coffee. Uh, then it's North Macedonia, I don't really know much other than your flag looks a bit like a sun, and then the UAE. Can you send me a Lambo please? This year I uploaded 54 different videos, and this is how I would categorise them. Most of them are short videos which I would probably do nothing about, but some of them have very interesting categories. Very nice. The Dun Dun Goofs, and the last category. These are the videos which are very, very good. You've got things like starting off with Olive Crashing in 2023, things like the finale of GV Gear, the start of Foxtel Studios, coming in through to modern Foxtel where most of these videos are very, very good and my editing skills have improved over the years. Things like Olive Crashing are memorable because it was the start of the year and I had to put in a lot of dedication in order to get that done right at midnight for the new year. And then there's videos that are classic like the end of GV Gear, even though it's not the best in quality in the videos, it's still one of the best episodes to date. And then with the more modern Fox Tail, you can see the quality rapidly improve as I moved from using unlisted live streams into using OBS recordings where the quality just massively improves. I think you can see that from episode 1 to episode 2 of Foxtel, as much as episode 2 is terrible, uh, you can see the rapid change in quality. These are the videos which right now I would say I wouldn't have uploaded to Foxtel if they were in the quality that they are today. The Yugo ad is completely not really disgusting, although this was a long, long time ago, so you can blame my editing back there for being terrible. Beam hiders, I it's alright, I just think that it's just searching for something for 20 minutes, it's just me being lost. It's a bit boring, it's just me driving around in a jeep. Same with GV GeoGuessr, it's just looking at some people on Discord pointing out pictures for about 30 whole minutes, may I add. This consists of two episodes, one of GV Gear, one of Foxtail. The first one is episode 7, Return from the Dead. This had about as good editing as the quality of Kirikov. Um, and we're talking here that <laughs> that was recorded about four months ago. Meant to be episode four. Absolutely disgusting because we didn't actually get any of the recording done. Then next you have, oh boy, 
at it again, Foxtel episode 2. This was meant to be a repeat of Meet the Cast, and this was the first time I had ever edited on the software that I use today, which is, uh, oh, what is this thing called? It's uh, Movie Maker Video Editor Pro, Microsoft's official one. Um, but I had barely any idea what I was doing, didn't have any of my old files for copyrighted music, so I had to go onto, I'm presuming, some stupid little website, download some in MP3, shove them on here, and it was the most disgusting thing I think I've ever seen, but the quality was an improvement. And we are explaining things into Foxtail has, of course, been my biggest project over this entire year. It's had too many episodes to count this year. Nine, I believe. Yeah, nine. Since it started. And it's just been brilliant to work on. It's got a great community. Unfortunately, thanks to reasons involving raids, you can blame my school on that one, the Foxtail Discord server is not open to everyone. Um, there's still a chance you can join, but I'll know if you're trying to raid. Um, so, I thought, how can I sum up Foxtel this year? Well, there's been one person who has joined Foxtel this year, started out in episode 3, and has now been in a bunch of episodes. He's been in episode 5, episode... he wasn't in episode 6, he was in episode 7, though you don't see much of him, episode 8, and episode 9. He's been very active this year, despite only starting this year. So I thought it'd be nice... I'd like everyone to welcome Jack. Hi, Jack. Oh. Hi. Welcome to Hello. the interview. We are just outside JHT Motors Private Limited Company, and I've only just joined you, apparently. Mmm. <laughs> only just joined you, apparently. Quality used cars. Nice you know? ping, bro. Nice ping, my guy. Okay, so... How did it feel becoming, like, such a big part of Foxtel so quickly for you? Um, it's, uh, pretty cool because I can help people and, uh, not be considered someone who is unimportant. Uh, no, that sounds a bit mean. Um, oh. <laughs> can we redo that? Because now... I can host events and stuff, uh, and uh, be known in the server, I guess. Yeah! I don't know what to say. <laughs> I guess that's very good for you, darn kid, isn't it? Uh, would you say that you've made strong connections and bonds with the people and friends throughout Foxtel this year? I'd hope so, I hope they consider me a friend anyway. I uh, certainly do. Yeah. What would you say is your favourite memory this year of Foxtel, or just like, uh, yeah, from Foxtel? I'd say, um, the yeah. events have been good. The events have been good. I was hoping you wouldn't say Mr. Bean Car Racing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Bean Car Racing, man. Mr. Bean Car Racing is something else. What would you say, out of all the Fox Shell episodes, was your favourite to take part in? Um, the, la the most recent ETS2 one. Ah, oh, transporting a couple olives to somewhere in Germany. Yes, I love transporting a couple olives to somewhere in Germany. Uh, you, well, you love transporting olives and stuff, You're, and especially peanut butter to Grimsby. Oh, can't forget about the peanut butter, yeah. Cannot forget about the peanut butter. So, of course, you are, even outside of Foxtel, a YouTuber, and you've got a lot of success, not just from Foxtel, but also from uh, servers like Dynamic Ship Simulator, Bad Yacht, those sorts of places. Um, so would you, uh, what would you say to someone who's aspiring to be on YouTube? What would you say to them? Uh, <clears throat> right, I'm gonna do a, a bit of motivational speech here. That's good. Uh, even if you don't get many views, keep pushing through, because if you, per if you persist, you will eventually get loads of views and subscribers and will become a really good YouTuber. So, keep trying and you'll get there. Linking it back to Foxtel and coming towards the end of your short interview, just like your height. Uh, hey! You Don't look at me like that, bro. Sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> what were you saying? I've forgotten, actually, if I'm completely honest with you. Uh, what would you say to someone who's looking to join Foxtel? Would you suggest it to them? Um, yeah. If you want to play games with people, um, 
then join because it's good when we do events. And the people are pretty chill, I guess, yeah. Okay, well, um, that is all I really wanted from you, so do you have anything else that you, good sir, the SK1LLZ32, would like to say? He had the canto with no doors. That's all I want to say. Alrighty, do you want to say au revoir? Au revoir. That was Jack there, lovely guy, like most people in Foxtail. Uh, so over the year, of course, he's grown in the community, as has pretty much everyone in Foxtail. It's been a brilliant year of recordings, we've had some brilliant episodes this year, some episodes have been disgusting, but overall, we've stayed as a community, we've gone through times of hardship, gone through times of controversy, and we've stuck together and persevered till the end, and that is something that I must be happy about in my life. Just like last year, I asked people to give me their questions for me this year. If you have any personally yourself that you'd like to ask in the comments, please go ahead and do so if they weren't featured here. Without further ado, here is the 2023 questions of Foxtel Studios. When is this again? Uh, the 28th of December. Uh, I don't understand this one. Why is there just a picture of a car? Opinions on these. Okay, terrible, terrible, okay, okay. Yeah, Riz! Uh, if that's your car, then it's completely and utterly disgusting. This, I would name... I don't know, it's just... I don't... What am I looking at here? Um, my favourite Foxhead episode would be Enduring the Work from episode 7. Um, I... I don't know, DAFXD? I can't think of any. Uh, I, I've never been to either, but I do like the Tragit. Um, no, I like Foxtel how it is right now, it's probably gonna stay how it is currently. Uh, no, no, I like that car very much, I would buy it, but it wouldn't be enough to sell. Uh, funnily enough, as you say that, my wheel is broken today, so... Um, my favourite BMNG car, I don't, I don't really know, uh, Pigeon? Uh, favourite band or song, well, probably Gary Newman's Metal. Um, uh, favourite BMNG map, goodness, I, I use the, uh, East Coast a lot. Don't like olives? No, I don't. They're, they're kind of disgusting, if I'm completely honest with you. Favourite Foxtel Studios channel? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it in the server? Favourite Foxtel Studios member? I like you all equally. Uh, so, yeah. Favourite plane and why? Going controversial here, I'm going with the Tupolev TU-144. Uh, favourite game? Uh, Roblox or BeamNG, I suppose. There are, there are main ones. Favourite season? Season 1 of Foxtel Studios, because it's the current only one we have. Favourite food? Cheese, I guess, I don't know. Cheese? Favourite car besides the Yugo? Ah, oh, this could go on for a while. I like things like the... I was about to say Concorde, that's not a car. No, um, I'm a good fan of Morris Miners. I like the Morris 1100. Uh, I like the Ford GT40 in most of the GT series. I'm alright with Lamborghini as much as they're overrated. I don't know really, the Opel Manta's probably what I'd end up buying. So thank you to everyone who submitted a question in there for me. It was interesting answering them all. I had them all in one go, as you can probably tell. Um, so that is it for the questions, and now I want to move you on to our final little section. Of course, the main question that I'm sure a lot of people in Foxtel and out of Foxtel want to know are, what's the plan for the future? What do I want to do? Uh, well, I can tell you that Foxtel will be continuing going on its first season until I want to end it at the same time as the season of GV Gear ended, so that will be around the start of March. You can expect the finale to episode season, even one. Um, the community is going to keep going. We'll have a season two, I can tell you that, certainly. And it's going to be bigger, better. I've been brainstorming ideas. Everyone else, I hope, has been. Um, so we are going to be keeping going. I'm going to be keeping making these videos, keeping entertaining you all. I would like to thank everyone in Foxtel, everyone who's viewed a video from Foxtel, anyone watching right now. It's been a brilliant year, 2023, as was 2022, and I'm sure 2024 will be just the same. Of course, I'm going to be going into my GCSEs through this year, so uploads may not be as frequent as I'm going to have to be revising, working, and getting myself an actual job, as this is more a hobby and not an actual profession I would prefer to be doing. Um, so, 
that concludes us all for Joshua 567 2023. It's all been a brilliant year having you all here. Next year, gonna be as great as ever. I'd like to thank everyone. Nas, Jack, Bungus, Jaw, Garrett, Jake, Daki. I could go on for ages here. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna spend the next minute naming people who've helped out this year. I'd like to thank everyone for this year. And I'll see you all next year. There's a lawnmower, and I'm on Discord for some reason. <laughs> okay, right, he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Sussy, funny. Haha, <laughs> get to Scott. <laughs> That's one way to get them. Run! Oh. Hey, Theo! Introduce yourself to everyone. Well, I'm Nas. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Go on. Yeah. We have got the i8 that crashed behind us here, which is. Why is my car behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it rolling? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, no way. Get back here! <laughs> 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 My thing is not just that bad. The thing uh, on this is that so um uh Go follow my touch. Uh what what? Uh, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Uh. You know it's a game. Mm. Can't go back. Oh my god. Telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs>
Why? Oop, uh. Never mind. Oh, fuck it, suck it! I'm having a whole world of problems down here, guys. It's suck it! I, I still, I still <laughs> can die if I can still die. You knocked my wheel off, I'm dead. You, oh, oh, oh. Yes. You've got a baby bald head. No. Uh, oh my goodness, God, that, is a... <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrifying explosion. No, 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 why do you hate Jake? He snitched on me, what a bitch. Like, thank you for watching, and um, make sure to like and subscribe now. What's a game I hate? Euro Truck Simulator 2. What's a game everyone else in Foxtown likes? Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you, I'm out of slaughter, and you're asking what I did. <laughs> Guys, how am I only doing 44 miles per- Poland! Run. No! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh yeah, I'm a pocket mouse. <laughs> I can barely stand. Oh, 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 oh,